Hey there people and welcome to my next review on this channel Swiss RC World. Today we're gonna be taking a look at uh, the Raven Flying Wing I bought from uh, flyingwings.uk. So first of all you can see it's quite a small plane. The, the wingspan is uh, I think 68 centimeters and the flying weight they suggest you to use uh, is about 300 grams mine weighs about uh, 500 without a GoPro and about nearly 700 with a GoPro so I use my GoPro HD Hero 2 and then I made such a strap uh, which goes underneath the plane you can put uh, this piece right into the sole put the strap over there take this piece of foam put it underneath here and you're done you're also gonna uh, gonna be seeing some FPV footage uh, from taking with my GoPro at the end of the review uh, to counteract the weight uh, to this side I took some rings some ring weights put the velcro on I have velcro here uh, I can put these weights on here and the plane should balance out properly so overall I can say that this plane is uh, extremely easy to fly so it's first thing it's extremely stable when it flies good um, if you have the balance right that's perfect then it has a very thick airfoil I don't know if you can see that but it's quite thick and and that makes the plane fly really slow and quite stable and then it is all made out of EPP foam as well as the motor mount and so on uh, servos I use are the HD, no, Power HD uh, 9 gram servos just some standard they are comparable to the turn uh, no the Hextronic 9 gram servos probably exactly the same my motor is a Power HD uh, 2212 with 1250 kV. I bought it in Switzerland, so you won't get it from Hopkin. As well as the ESC, it's a 20 amp ESC, also from from Power HD uh, with a 2 amp linear BEC. So for two servos, that's enough. Then the flight pack I use is the Sippy 3S. Uh, 2200 milliamp hour and um, I think it's 20 CS and if you don't fly full throttle all the time um, you can get out about 30 minutes of flight time with this pack so that's quite nice but if you use uh, the 2200 milliamp hour battery uh, your plane will be quite heavy uh, they suggest you to use a 30 at 1300 but I just took I also bought a, a motor which is too big. This motor uh, gives about 900 grams of thrust, and the plane weighs about 500 grams or something. Uh, the prop is a 8 by 4.7 APC flo slow fly prop, and right here on my servos, the linkages are just some carbon rods with a linkage stopper and the clevis here. Uh, Reminder to attach your control horns. Um, not as I have done right here. These holes where the clevis goes in have to be over the over the hinge of the, of the flap. So I managed to do that. Um, but all in all, I can say this plane flies quite nice, and it's a perfect be beginner plane because it can really take a hit. It's quite. Uh, quite a tough plane and you're also gonna see uh, quite a bad crash uh, I took with uh, FPV and just the GoPro fell out and the wing was broke off here and that's pretty much everything so to build this kit uh, everything you have to do is uh, glue the two wing halves together there they come apart here then glue the carbon spar in glue on the motor mount Glue on the winglets, install your electronics, and you're fine. Uh, this takes about one hour to 
one and a half depending on your skills and what I would suggest every beginner uh, is to get one of these just to frame not not with the electronics they can send you and just get cheap electronics from Hobby King like a uh, 2212 motor from Turton G or NTM or and some Hextronic 9 gram servos a plush 20 amp PSC and depending on what you want uh, 1300 to a 2200 milliamp battery pack so a friend of mine also uh, took this wing and cut off uh, some of the uh, some of the wing to make a thinner airfoil and then he just attached a, a carbon rod right through here and now it's his discus launch glider and if you don't know what it is you, uh, you can just uh, take your your wing like this with with the carbon spar in here and you can just swing around and throw the plane uh, around and this is without any uh, it's not equipped with the motor so you can just glide and it's very light uh, only the wing as a, the wing with the winglets the flaps and everything without any electronics or hardware uh, weighs about 120 grams I believe it's quite heavy but uh, therefore it's rigid very rigid out here you can see it's not very rigid but where the carbon spar is it's perfect and you don't you can see where the carbon spar stops here but out here you, you don't have anything any electronics or so and also when you dive down full throttle and make a 90 degree turn it doesn't flop at all so this plane is real nice and now for uh, let's head out to the flying field with the Raven flying wing so here's some flight footage uh, recorded with my GoPro attached to my transmitter so it's quite wobbly and I don't have any zoom but you can see that the plane flies really slow even with the wind it's quite nice and it's very easy to steer As you can see here, it hardly tip stalls, so it, it doesn't, never does it, nearly never, when you have your CG right, so you have to have a little bit of experience to get your CG right, but if that's done, the plane flies beautifully. Launching the plane is very easy and looks quite good on the flying field. You just take it like a frisbee and throw it with about half throttle, then it's up in the air. You can as well uh, catch it with your hand if you don't want to land. Here's another picture of my GoPro mount on my Raven flying wing. You're about to see some FPV footage. With a pretty hard crash, but the plane survived it without any problems due to its uh, strength and strong EPP.